Why do I need a lighting controller? High intensity discharge grow lights are incredibly efficient and produce enough light intensity to allow you to grow any kind of plant indoors. However, they also use a lot of power, particularly when they're first switched on. The high voltage required by HID lamps to ignite needs to be treated with respect. Our number one priority here is to create a safe indoor garden. Now, you probably already know that an HID grow light requires a special box, called the ballast, in order to operate. This ballast generates both the high inductive electrical load to ignite the lamp and a steady flow of electricity to the lamp once it's lit up. Let's take a closer look. Here, you can see a 1000 watt HID grow lamp being screwed into the lamp fitting. The lamp fitting is connected to an electronic ballast. We're using Galaxy 240 volt ballasts here. The ballast, in turn, needs to be connected to the power supply. Most regular segmental timers are not designed for use with HID lighting. In fact, the high inductive load that we just mentioned will most likely fuse the connectors in the timer together, causing it to malfunction. This pretty little box is called the lighting controller. This model, called the Helio 7 by Titan Controls, is a serious piece of kit. It can run not just one, but up to eight 1000 watt HID lights. The beauty of a lighting controller is the simplicity and safety it brings to your indoor garden. All of your lights running off one timer. Excellent. Just remember that the Helio 7 should be installed by a certified electrician. It needs to be wired directly to your 240 volt electrical supply. It has eight universal sockets to run eight 240 volt ballasts. You can use either electronic or magnetic ballasts, or a mixture of both. But remember, they must be rated for 240 volts for use with the Helio 7. Now, if you notice, the built-in segmental timer works in increments of 15 minutes. You simply press these time trippers down for when you want your lights on, and leave them up for when you want your lights off. Here, we're setting up an 18-6 photo period. That's 18 hours on, 6 hours off. And don't forget to turn the timer so that it's set to the current time. Securely mount your lighting controller on a wall. Ideally, it should be adjacent to, not in, your indoor garden. When the lighting controller is switched on via the analog timer, you will hear a clunk sound. This is perfectly normal. And that's it. Now, you're good to grow. Remember, using a lighting controller, big or small, is the safe way to operate high-intensity discharge grow lights. We'll see you next time. For grow tips, expert advice, and more educational videos, check out justforgrowers.com.